Welcome to the Rolando Estacada channel. My name is Rolando. Before we proceed with today's episode, please click like and subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. Also, if you would like, please follow me on Instagram right here at Rolando Garcia III. Looking forward to having you. Thank you very much. Gumagalang po and salamat po. Back to the Rolando Estacada channel. My name is Rolando and today I have something very exciting to share with you. Today we are looking at the third strategy of Felicissimo Dizon's crowning martial art of Mohara, Filipino stick fighting by the legendary master himself. So today we're going to be taking a look at the third strategy called Dulo Sadulo. And Dulo in Tagalog means tip. So Dulo Sadulo means tip to tip. So how we now hold the stick by one end and then the other. This gives us some really great opportunities to explore the three postures of the Rolando Estocada system as it relates to Felicissimo Dizon's Mohara. These three postures will impact how you implement the Dulo Sedulo strategy, your overall understanding of Filipino martial arts, and ultimately how you can make your own health and fitness better by having a great understanding of how these three postures work and we're going to take a look at it with the Dulo Sadulo strategy of Felicissimo Dizon's Mohara. Can't wait to share it with you. This strategy introduces us to the high-level principles that govern the Mohara system. The first one is posture and structure, and the third one is level changing and distance management. So let's take a look at posture and structure first. We take a look at tall posture, we want our head to be aligned right on top of the shoulders because that takes care of the rib cage. When once we have those two items in place, the next one we want to take a look at is that our hips are aligned. So we want our head, shoulders, and hip aligned so that we are in the right distance and the opportunity to generate force is optimal. We want this feeling of all these three items to be stacked on top of each other as if we're trying to balance all three of them. What we are looking for optimally is the sense that a finger is pointing at our mid-back ever so lightly pressing so that it is a reminder that we stay tall. The second posture is knee-centric and by becoming knee-centric, we wanna make sure that we keep that same stacked feeling but on top of that, when we go ahead with the knee bend, this is the beginning of several other items. We start the level change, it improves footwork, and it also improves our reach, which now introduces us to the power of hip hinging. To enter into the hip hinge posture, think of bringing your hips back rather than your torso forward. Keep your spine stacked, this position is a very powerful one because it is the position for a tackle. So for our purposes, we do it to improve our range. We can actually close the distance simply by hip hinging. These three postures are responsible for distance management, but it is the hip hinge that allows us to engage our biggest muscles, our lats and glutes. Managing our distance with the first two postures, the hip hinge allows us to close the distance and then engage our lats and glutes and implement the principle of pangulat, which is a sudden change in distance and level, which then implements his high level principle of atras palaban, which is a fighting retreat. It allows him to close the distance and then engage in long range. But this principle also allows him to suddenly change the distance and level and then finish in close range. Thank you very much for joining me for today's episode of Dulu Sadulo, Felicissimo Dizon's third strategy of his system of Mohara. And I also hope that you enjoyed the higher level principles that govern the entire system. And as always, I'm really appreciative of your support of the entire channel. Please click like and subscribe. And in addition to that, please follow me on Instagram at Rolando Garcia III. As always, gumagalan po and salamat po.